bring Jack Lance home to his mother Sally Lane and to his family. Second, bring all the 43 Canadian detained abroad, including the children who cannot go to school, learn, and live in healthy and safe environment. Third, listen to what organizations like Human Rights Watch and Amnesty International had mentioned in their reports about the urgent need to provide consular services and repatriation assistance to these Canadian detained abroad. Fourth, listen to Fionuala Lee Owlin, the UN Special Rapporteur for the Protection and Promotion of Human Rights and the Countering Terrorism, who put Canada on a shame, on a list of shame, because it won't take active steps to repatriate its foreign national trapped in Kurdish-controlled camps in northern Syria. As a country, we have no credibility when, on one hand, we champion the rights of Uyghur detained in Chinese concentration camp, but on the other hand, we leave other Canadians detained by Kurdish forces. Prime Minister Trudeau is probably scared of losing any political capital in returning home Muslim Canadians, but guess what? This is not true leadership. Leadership is not a popularity contest. It is about applying the laws and stopping the arbitrary detention and the abuse of the human rights of all Canadians, whoever they are, whatever their religion is. Free Jacklets, free all the 44 Canadians detained in northern Syria.